use a 13 millimeter socket or you, on the top one you might want to use a wrench. It might be easier to access. Everything on YouTube said that these were 10 millimeter sockets and uh, they weren't. This was uh, an Allen key, one of these. But every video I watched on YouTube said it was a 10 millimeter socket. Incorrect. Brand new, baby, brand new. So this video here, I've been watching multiple, multiple videos. This one says to keep the original grease on there, but then the other one I watched said to use a brake clean to take out all the original grease. Whatever, kind of made sense to clean it out. You can use a tool or you can do it with your hand. Just take some grease. You can see the old grease coming out of it too. Oh my gosh. Well, my friends, welcome back to the Van City Van Life Garage. Is it beer time yet? I'll tell them. I'm drinking a diet soda. Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're doing the front brakes and rotors on my van. It's a 2004 Ford E350. My home sweet home. This is my first time. So, uh,. Let's go, baby, let's go. I'm not a mechanic. I do not like doing this stuff. I'm cool with doing like rust work. I'm cool with doing um, things to make things look pretty like customization stuff, working with wood or things like that, things that are very creative. But this is full blown work. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not fun. And I don't know if I would continue to do my own brake jobs and things like that because, well, there's a lot better things I could have done with my time today. I could have edited a video. So this day here doing this, I never edited, which means I didn't upload. So this job might have actually just cost me money instead of saving me money. And that's why I did it. Well, maybe this will save me a little bit. Turns out, the frustration level and the non-enjoyment for, for three hours of my life. I don't know. I think I would rather pay somebody to do it. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh. So if you're a mechanic, Sir Lauren, I take my hat off to you. Oh uh, yeah, it's not for me. Look at my legs. Yeah, this is, I should have worn my coveralls. Every single time I do something in the shop, I always forget that I have coveralls. Oh man. I might have to use that pumice stuff on my legs. Here you go. You already, Lisa? Hey, Biggie. 
Okay, crazy, come on, buddy. Come on. That's not your home. You live in a van, bro. Come on. Hi, buddy. <laughs> People have been asking for Biggie. Like, where's Biggie? We haven't seen Biggie very much. Does it look like I'm having fun today? I, like, oh, I did the brakes in my van. I'll tell you, I will never. I will call Lauren every time now. <laughs> Mechanic works. Yeah. Sucks. That's it. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh, what are you eating? No, you can't eat these. You can't eat them. They're not good for you. Our little boy, Cruzy, goes up to the house beside the shop here sometimes to play with their puppies. You see the new one? His name is Griswold. He's so freaking cute. He's just a little massive puppy. But uh, I did it. I, uh, I did my own brake pads and rotors. I did. <laughs> Do I feel proud that I accomplished something? No, <laughs> because it wasn't fun. Not even for a split single second did I enjoy any of that. So it took me about two hours to do one side and about an hour and a half to do the other side. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this. And including cleanup, that was probably four and a half, five hours worth of work. And I am still dirty, which means I gotta go have myself a shower now. So you're looking six and a half hours to do the breaks. I could have taken that to a mechanic shop. They could have banged it out in two to three hours. And I could have edited a video. Edited, edited a video. I can't even speak right now. <laughs> um, I built this shop not to be a mechanic. I love doing customization things or creative things or building things. Doing mechanical work, I find incredibly frustrating. Right? I have a beautiful, big, beautiful shop with all the tools that I need, but being a mechanic is something that I've never had a heart for. That's why we got Lauren. <laughs> um, in a situation like this, will I ever do it again? Sure, if I have the time. If I have extra time on my hands, I would definitely do this again. But right now, I don't have time. I am so swamped and busy that the time I spend doing this today, I could have edited and uploaded a video. So by the time you're watching this video, you will have noticed I missed, what, three, four videos in a row. <laughs> if I don't edit tomorrow, something comes up, then it could be five, four or five videos in a row. I don't even know what I've missed by now. <laughs> I think there's three videos waiting to come out. And I just haven't had the time to sit there and edit. And this morning I should have done that instead of doing this. But uh, yeah, doing your, mechanic, your own mechanical work, it's... I thought for sure maybe it would take me a half an hour per side. Really, honestly, I seriously did. I'm like, well, whatever, how hard would it be? A couple bolts and swap a few things over. But these ones here have the wheel bearing inside of the rotor. And that poses another element. So I, I didn't know that. I thought for sure you just take the rotor off and put a new one on, swap the new pads out, and bada boom, you're back on the road. No, because there's wheel bearings inside of those rotors, now you have to repack the wheel bearings. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess even talking about this stuff is stressing me out. Yeah, mechanics, I... Uh, I have the utmost respect for you guys because what you do is serious work and my hat goes off to all of you. Um, I'm not a mechanic. I'm gonna stick to customizing things, to making things look pretty. It's the low rider side of me. A mechanic would have known, put on your coveralls, bro. Don't get your clothes dirty. Now we're gonna, we're out of here. I gotta go have a shower. This is... <laughs> This wasn't fun. Not at all. The amount of dirt in here from doing my floors is ridiculous. This whole van needs a 
Needs a day of cleaning for sure. Hey, you can't park here. Oh no, dude, I just stuffed my face, oh, man. Okay, I, oh, I appreciate that though. I just literally stuffed Wendy's down my throat. Oh, yeah, I know how that. <laughs> Cruzy, when a subscriber comes by, you're not, the, you're not supposed to full blown hey, attack them, dude. Hey, they're humping them or chewing them. Hey, they're not edible, bro. <laughs> He's like, yeah, watch me. <laughs> you want to show them who you really are? <laughs> How nice is that? The van dweller up there walking back to his van came by with uh, with some leftover chili <laughs> and offered me chili. I appreciate that, man. Cruz is having himself a... Uh, Having himself a drink there behind you. Oh. Having that shower after three days. Whoo so good. Oh. Yeah. oh. I forgot all of my bedding and stuff like that at the shop. Ah. I forgot I took everything out of my van when we were doing the floor repair. <sighs> well, at least I got uh, a fitted sheet, covers on my pillows, and a little blanket. Just no duvet cover. I feel a little bit proud of myself. The van drove well, no squeaks, no weird shaking or anything weird. Like, I I did my brakes today. <laughs> and for a guy who was a city boy a majority of his life, that's pretty, pretty darn impressive. It's been fun to learn new skills at the shop, but mechanical skills are something that I, uh, I'm not sure if that's ever in my future where I'm gonna have a passion for doing mechanical work. I would rather do customization stuff like building cabinets or something cool or painting things and you know, I'm sure you get it. Anyway guys, let's leave you with one thing. Mechanical work, it sucks. <laughs> Bro fist to all my, all my mechanics out there. Hats off to you guys. Take care.